Dear Lord, who is in heaven, thank you for saving us from eternal destruction. We were the lost before, and we, uh, you lead us to realize our condition honestly. And you guided us to have an honest desire to repent and be saved from eternal condemnation of hell. We deeply appreciate that you have given us grace that much. Now we are in the middle of a summer retreat season. Many lost people were able to return to you through this holy war. You know, who really got saved by your own hands. Let them not move from your words and hold tight with your mighty hands and make them stand strong upon your solid covenant. We have come together this morning for looking forward to receive your heavenly grace abundantly. May your grace upon us this moment and guide us until the end of this gathering. We ask in Jesus our Lord. Amen. All right, let's open your Bible. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians uh, chapter 3, 13. <clears throat> If you get this, uh, let's read together. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has compla complained against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. Yeah. Uh, last time we have studied uh, the strengths for faith life. Um, we need to know uh, where, where can you get these strengths? This is very important. And also next time I will uh, share how to get these strengths from Almighty God. Uh, without this information, uh, you, you have to only follow your own idea. That's why, as you know well, as you experienced already, your own idea, following that, this is a lot of mistakes happen, right? So understanding based upon the words of God, this is very, very important to us. In the Bible, uh, we are able to learn uh, there is one divine action uh, that Christian can do. So what is that divine action we could do instead of God? This is really divine action. What is that? Please be creative, okay? <laughs> so, any idea? Love one another, right? Even love, loving enemy, right? This is divine action. And another one is here, bearing with one another. What is that? Forgiveness, right? Uh, this is very simple. This is logic one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Without forgiving others, can you love them? Can you love him or she, her? No, right? That's why uh, usually lots of Christians, they're stuck in this trap so far, right? So uh, our Lord Jesus, to guide us, he already demonstrated many times about this, right? We need to catch something from there. Without forgiveness, we cannot make even one single step in Christian life, right? Why? We are here in the middle of the church, right? You know, if we stay alone as a truly boring Christian in this planet, there is no problem, right? You are the only one, right? There is no connection, there is no involvement, right? There is no any other relationship. You are the only one. That's why you can move forward by yourself with God, right? But we are here with other brothers and sisters, right? Without forgiving one another, moving forward, this is really tough work, right? All tough things coming from that, but you try to excavate some specific reason from a different place, different things. Do you understand? So, uh, who can realize this situation? Only somebody who moved forward to God with honest heart they would realize this condition exactly honestly, right? We are engaging one another, right? 
And then we connected. We are connected, right? With this connection, there is the walks of God. So, without forgiveness, one another, bearing one another, we couldn't get any power to move forward, right? That's why forgiveness is really simple and easy. But don't try to uh, go to so far. So you would uh, usually think too much. Think too much. Forgiving is simple, but you move forward up until trusting one another. Trusting is a different matter, right? Forgiving is you can do it immediately, imminently, right? And then trusting in this time, right? That's why forgiving is the will of God, right? That's why Jesus, this is what Jesus did when he was here. He was able to forgive them immediately, right? The 12 disciples especially, they made us a lot of mistakes, right? And they have gone different way, and they followed their own idea, but Jesus bear and then endure all that situation and took, take it as his own responsibility. Why? Forgiveness. That's the very reason Jesus came down to the earth, right? That's why there is no any other trouble to forgive them, right? This is one uh, significant heavenly instruction we have to learn, right? Forgiving. Yes, it's simple, right? What about Whenever we reflect ourselves, whenever we look back ourselves, I have tons of things um, need to be forgiven by somebody else, right? But I have it, but I don't have any mind to forgive anybody else. This is really pity, right? This is not the guidance of God. Usually this, is, this kind of thinking and idea was provided by the Satan's evil force, right? So learn and understand and practice this one this is what we have to learn right many years many years many weeks uh, you come and go and then listen so many lessons right and then you read the bible by yourself and then sometimes you read the, some um, some or is it christian books so what do you get right we have to learn this one bearing with one another and forgiving one another Forgiving. This is very important. Through this forgiveness and forgiving somebody, Christian strength is coming to me, right? And then I can take it as mine. And then we can move forward. Regardless, the condition, right? Regardless, who is sitting beside me, it doesn't matter, right? I have enough mind to forgive anybody else, anyone else, right? And i really willing to forgive. Their mistakes, even their stiff face as well, right? Christian, everything is come, everything is inside of me is coming out from my face, right? Right? Not my saying. Let's smile. Smile. <laughs> you know, this is a really funny story. Whenever I wake up first, after doing my business at the toilet, and then I stand up, and then before the miller, I try to practice. <laughs> practice. You know, this is really awkward. You know, this is not like me. Uh, my father also is the same like me. My mother as well. That's a really horrible family. Right? <laughs> Sometimes uh, we laughing at before some situation, but we look at each other. Oh, he's laughing, but immediately stiff. <laughs> I'm not laughing like that, right? But Christian, we are in the middle of the happiness, eternal happiness, right? And then abundant and everlasting joy here, right? Why? Why? Smile, right? You know, there is no one point the finger before the smiling face, right? So let's keep it. This is the best way to protect myself, right? Smile, right? If you try to smile it, you can feel it. Your, your heart immediately soft, right? Soften and then willing to take it any, any, any words. Open mind. This is the meaning of open mind, right? That's why the strength of the Christian life is coming from the forgiveness, right? 
So, <coughs> and then the, even uh, the strength move forward uh, is coming from uh, the forgiveness. I had uh, some situation before. My first son, he got a car accident. He was around um, eight years old. He was playing in the outside of the apartment, condominium. And then one drunken driver with a truck, and then he hit my son. And then he got a uh, really uh, bad injury. And then immediately, uh, people moved in the ER at the hostel near my house. Mm, there was a really bloody, and I was really shocked and surprised. Who did it? But when I met uh, the... I used to say the predator, this kind of predator, is really what is this, very bad small alcohol. I immediately realized that he is a drunk driver. That's why he couldn't recognize the small kid is riding a bicycle beside the truck. And then he pushed it continuously. Um, you know who was he? Every single morning, I have to get the same elevator with him together. Whenever I saw him, oh, this is really, really hard. And my, every morning when I, I have to pray, please let, please God, let me not meet him. And then please let him go first. <laughs> you know, sometimes I used to stairs. My floor is 23 floors. It's really, every single day that was really tough work for me. And then my heart is always crashed because of that. My son is still in the hospital, right? Uh, that is really, really torturing me every morning. So I have to pray to God. That's why um, God gave me answer. Forgive him. Let him go. Forgive him. Otherwise, you will be die. You will be dead. That you will be totally, totally crashed because of that. That's why I really struggle to forgive him. Still, in, deep inside my heart, Still, I have some mind. God will treat this case, not mine, right? But um, that things happen. That things happen. I really want to know why. I really wondered why. That instance happened because of that needs my son's life, not me, right? My son needs this extent for his good. You understand? So, uh, when um, a couple of months later, uh, my, my son got well, and then he finally returned home, and then barely I could have some forgiveness for him. And then when I met the elevator, same elevator, uh, he always watching the corner of the elevator like that, and <laughs> I'm staying here. At that, at that moment, I realized that I'm the one who's freer than them, than him, right? I'm better than him, right? I got more power than him, right? I'm stand with my strength and courage, and then he cannot watch my eyes, and then put his head at the corner of the elevator. Usually, elevator, we kept some mirrors, right? So in order not to see me, right? He always go, you know, I got, more power, right? And then my heart still is beating whenever I see him, right? But uh, I was able to forgive him. And then no trouble anymore, right? The forgiveness give you, gives you the power and strength. Understand? If you don't do that, you will, you, you, your ego is going to eat yourself, right? That's why the Bible says, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. This is the key. This is the good way to get the strength of our Christian life. Right? Without forgiveness, without forgiveness, it's really hard to move forward. So, giving forgiveness, this is the will of God, as you know what, right? So, forgiving, this is a really important term in our Christian life. Understand? Bear one another. Let's see. Uh, John chapter 17. <clears throat> John 
John chapter 17, verse 3. This is a well-known passage. Uh, we have heard so many times about this passage here. Let me read here. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Whenever we approach to the only true God, and then approach to Jesus Christ, sent, who, 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 whom sent by God himself, we are able to get and imitate divine action. Right? All this instruction was given with God's divinity. So, whoever stuck in the Bible and then willing to follow the words of God, yes, their life going to be changed by the help of the Holy Spirit who occupied in me, right? But somebody who doesn't have the Holy Spirit, right? They try to just imitate the life of Jesus Christ, right? That's why I totally drained a couple of days later, right? I cannot follow that. Why? There's no life in, his, in him, right? No life. Not the new life never initiated in, inside of them. That's why they look, whenever they read the Bible and whenever they imitate the life of Jesus Christ, they try to imitate and follow, but totally easily drained. Why? There's no life, right? Only life needs what? The strength, right? Have you got breakfast today? Why? To get the strength, right? Why? You are the life, right? You have a life. What if you are just a status here like that? No, not you. Like the status doll, right? Kind of very sophisticated doll is sitting here. Need a foot? No, there's no life, right? Only living being need the, need the strength in order to make move, right? The Christian life is the same. There is no life in me, right? How can you go that way continuously, right? That's why having life, not information, right? Having life, this is really important. So in order to receive the eternal life, we have to know two things. The only true God, right? Let me write down here. The, not A, right? Only. And next, true, right? God. The only true God. Why God need to emphasize three ways like this? There's lots of different gods. Different gods was created from inside of your desire, right? But Bible declared about the only true God who is written in the Bible, who is revealed in the Bible, who is um, show himself through the Bible, right? Three times. Many people, you know, majority of the uh, in our generation, they know about who is Jesus Christ, right? And then with a couple of Bible study, they have some first confidence: I can go to heaven. But that not, that's not coming from the statement, statements of which was spoken by Jesus Christ. If my salvation is coming from the scripture, your conviction is really, really solid and concrete. Why? Whatever happened and then what kind of idea uh, have I carried, it doesn't matter. Why? The sentence which was spoken and declared through the words of God, this is written. This supports my confidence. That's why it's so clear. Nowadays, many people, they, they are stand before the tons of information because of what is the internet and YouTube, something, right? Through this summer retreat also, we have spoken so many things. Information is good, right? And sometimes they enjoy the humor, right? Humor is good. But what is important? Truth. Right? Through some retreat, we, we try to find out and stand upon this truth over and over. Right? And then we make solid faith when we listen the true gospel of Jesus Christ. As you know, one, 
There's a lot of different Gospels here, right? But if you focus the Gospel of Jesus Christ, which is written in the Bible, your salvation is so solid and clear, right? So those who really got saved, they have the Holy Spirit in me. And then they have great, they're guided by the great conviction. And no doubt. Those who already done with all this by the grace of God, we need continuously the strength. Why? The faith is already high hell, right? Already hell. Based upon the faith, I need to move on. In order to move on, I need some energy, spiritual energy, right? In order to get this power, the one of, the, one of those things is forgiving. Why? I'm the unique one among this entire universe, right? This unique one, totally different with others, right? Others also think this idea in the same way. He also think I'm the only one, right? We are different, right? And also, we have diversity, different background, different education, right? And different right, parenting, all is different, right? Because of that, not easy to match together. Last time I draw one brick, some, some living brick stone. Have you remembered that? Uh, could you remember that? The Christian can connect, uh, can connect each other. I'm a living stone like that. Hmm? And this is, uh, this is me, this is you. In order to connect with each other, how could we do this? What kind of idea did you provide in order to make it connect? The face, this surface is not matched with this one, right? So how could we get this? Impossible. Impossible. All right? I'm Korean. <laughs> Filipino. Mm. South Africa. India. This is a this is really disaster. <laughs> 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 you know, different type of people, different kind of background, different kind of food as well, right? How can it con could be connected? Only one thing is possible. Where is that? We have to fill this gap with, what is that? The clue is red. How can connect with each other? Yes, blood of Jesus Christ, right? Yeah, we could be one, right? So there's one thing, break this up. What is that? Not forgiving. Why you are like this figure, right? What, what about you? you? You are really kind of something, right? So some blame each other, right? You, you are not like me. I don't understand you, right? I don't have enough mind to receive your things, right? But Jesus said, after he accomplished the salvation, one covenant added. What is that? That big one. In order to figure out all this issue. Yes, love one another, right? Forgiving one another, bearing one another, this is included, love one another, right? Otherwise, there is no reason. We are losing the reason why you are here, right? I hate you. I don't like this mood, right? I don't like these people. When I preach the gospel in the Philippines, usually uh, most of our congregation is really middle length people or lower. Huh? But sometimes we evangelize rich Chinese, rich mm, people, right? But sometimes they uh, come here, but they always insist that we need another gathering. Uh, we cannot mingle with them. So what did I do that? Why should I do that? I cannot do it. We are same under the God's love, right? We are the same spirit, same soul, right? 
That's why that's not the manual in the Bible, which is given by God, right? We are all the same. For the meantime, for the meantime, we, when we stuck in this world, we need, we have the nationality, right? But when we gather together in front of God, no nationality anymore. Only the Son of God, right? How could it be possible? Because of being born again, right? That's why God, He, he planned and designed. And then we are in the church. This is well tailored by God. Sophisticated God designed this church by Himself. A, in order to figure all these issues, God said, love one another, right? The part of that, this is a forgiving and bearing one another. Otherwise, you cannot move, right? Our old connection is meaningless, right? So, uh, John chapter 13, 3 said, yes, knowledge is a power to get the salvation, right? But maintaining this one, and they're keeping this one and move forward together, we need forgiveness one another. Do you agree with this? You know, this is not a written word. This is common sense in Christ. Understand? And also forgiving somebody is really easy. Why? Jesus forgave me already. Yeah, why not? I need forgiveness. You also need forgiveness, right? You also. Everyone deserves this one. So forgiveness is a really important key of Christian life. Um, if you read the, some part of Genesis, you can re read the uh, life of Joseph, right? I love that name. That's why I try to make English name is Joseph. Already taken. Already. Everyone, everyone, everyone is Joseph. <laughs> that was a really, really stunning name, right? Why his name is really important in the Bible? Why? Because of his life. Right. Why Joseph is a really important man in the Bible? Because of his endurance and tolerance? And because of his tough life? What made Joseph great? What is that? Yes, he forgave his brothers. Right? Because of that, Joseph became great. Not endurance and tolerance. Right? Let's, um, let's, uh, mm, let's pretend, pretend this one. Joseph is here. Let's interview him. Um, let's interview him. And how could you forgive your brothers? How could it be possible? I cannot do it. Hmm? But how could you do it? How? So what? might be censored. He knew why all these things happen. So book of Genesis 45, chapter 45. Genesis 45, verse 7 and 8. <clears throat> Sister Soyoung, please. Seven and eight. Forty-five, seven and eight. Confessed. So now, it was not you who sent me here, but God. Understanding the will of God, this is the origin and resource of power of forgiveness. Do you understand? Joseph, he knew it. All things happen because of divine intervention in my life. And then I'm the one who guided by the divine schedule. Hmm? He knew it exactly. That's why he was able to forgive the brothers who sent him. Right? He sold him. Knowing this is important. Sometimes, instead of 
uh, instead of knowing him, understanding him, we each go to judge them, right? This is a, a very uncomfortable situation. If we interview him, he would say like that. A person who has not learned to forgive others will be remain as a victim forever. Understand? Don't victimize them. Right? If you don't forgive somebody, you will be the victim forever. Right? What if the story of the Joseph is ended? He revenged everyone, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing here, right? Yeah, this is predictable as a human being. But through his forgiveness, God's mighty powers and God's grace and love reveal through his life. God also treats you like this way, with this manner, right? Why don't you follow that? This is really important, right? This is really valuable. Another case was given in the Bible. You know, Shimei who cursed King David, uh, right? Let's see, uh, 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel chapter 16. 2 Samuel chapter 16, who dared to curse God, uh, the king of Israel? Uh, Samuel uh, chapter 16, uh, from verse 9 to 13. Uh, Sister Sunny, please. 9 to 13. Alright, thank you. Hmm. Here, um, Shammai, uh, he cursed and stoned to the king of Israel, right? And then, uh, because of discipline of God, the king David, he had to leave everything uh, behind his back and then he uh, Escape from this king, uh, king's place with bare foot, right? And then one, this simple person, um, the Shemai, he stoned him. That's why the Abishai, uh, he uh, asked to king, "Have I? Uh, do you want to kill him?" Right? But King David said. Leave him alone. All the things happen because of me. All this happened because God's allowance and approval. That's why don't do anything for him. And then he accept every situation. What if you are the one as a King David? What did you do? Kill him, right? Bring his head to me, right? <laughs> and revenge. Mm, how dare you do this, right? But well, how well, the David, King David, he was able to forgive him. He knew it. All these things happened by his God's hands, right? All the things happened because of him. That's why happening this horrible situation or so, this happened because of God's approval. He knew it. Right? He knew it. The, Joseph also, he knew God's will. And David also, he knew God's will. Even myself, I don't know the God's will. Right? Totally different way. Right? If you know, 
if you know the will of God, yes, you, you could understand that happen, all right? Sometimes we encounter some, some of the brothers and sisters come across to me, against me, right? In case, oh, why God, you are not answering me, right? I hate him or her. Please get rid of her from in front of my eyes. <laughs> Probably God remove you in front of her, her eyes, right? Forgiveness is really important, right? The forg just forgiving him or her is simple. It doesn't mean trusting in him, right? Trusting is a different matter. So, David or so, he knew why this thing happened. The will of God, right? Actually, if we have one more eyes to see all the spiritual things, you're able to totally understand, oh, because of this reason, because of this reason, oh, because of God's grace, because of God's will, that's, that's happening around me, right? And then you can, you can help the peaceful mind, and joyful mind in your heart. And then you can take a deep breath before that, right? So don't stuck in the situation, right? Just focus. God who controlled the situation. This is important, right? So the greatness of Jesus our Lord. Also, that strength coming from the knowing, knowing. When Jesus, he, he crucified on the cross, there are some people who nailed him, right? And then hammering him on, on his feet and hands, right? At the moment, do you remember what the, what the prayer of Jesus Christ? Let's check. Luke chapter 23. That was really devastated situation, right? But Jesus, he prayed like that. This is not kind of uh, action and pretending. Luke chapter 23, uh, verse 34, 34. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots. How Jesus could pray like this? God, Father, forgive them. They were nailing, right? They were nailing on his feet. Right? So, can you imagine this? What, what if one of us try to nail you, hmm? and then they already hammering on, on your feet and hands. What did you do? Call 911, right? <laughs> right? Uh, but, you know, Jesus, he made a prayer like that. Forgive them. This strength, how could he get this? He knew it. Why they are doing? Right? Sometimes we can see some uh, very hysterical brothers and sisters, right? hysterical and skeptical and it's always used to come across to me, right, against me, right? You have it? No? You are not in the middle of the train of Jesus our Lord, right? If you have it around, around uh, in, in the churches and in, in your family or in your colleagues, wherever, right? You know, if you have this one, you have to think about this one. You are in the middle of the training of God. Understand? This is not the issue or matter. You have to avoid it. That's why around me there are so many strange and weird people. Right? They always challenge me. Right? If you are in the middle of that, this is so training of God. What do you expect as a good training, our Lord? Hmm? Everything is fine. It's a smiling face treated well, right? Always welcomed, right? With great, great and huge hospitality, right? That's not going to happen. Sometimes we have to see some sorrow face of our brothers and sisters, somebody who always used to say it hysterically, right? You know, it, all these things happen. God always pushed me in the middle of the training. Don't expect everything's fine. 
But why God do this, doing this? For your happiness. If you not if if you couldn't get over this one, happiness is to stay away from you. Right? And then you could have huge mind, right? Every one of any kind of people come are, come to me and they play, and then they go. Why? My heart is huge. We are so pity, right? And then self-centered person before, but now we are here in order to open our hearts, right? In order to understand, in order to get these strengths and power and ability, you need to know why they are doing. Usually, in my case, this is my database, personal. Some people is skeptical and hysterical to me. Most of them, they got their own trouble. Something is bugging them continuously because of they, and sometimes they, they suffer in the middle of some difficult situation. Because of that, they couldn't have enough mind to control themselves and reflect themselves, right? It's coming out to others. If you understand this one, somebody has some troubles and then really hysterical, you can understand that. Oh, you, you, you are, you need a power, you need comfort, right? And uh, you need something to take rest, right? If you say that, if you, you kept this one, yes, probably you would have some mind to in, uh, entertain them. With, with some small coffee, right? Or a cup of waters, whatever. This is the meaning of being Christ-like, right? This is Christian. If you learn from the Jesus, you could keep this kind of mind, right? But if you focus your own idea and own ego and own heart and mind, you'd follow what your mind wants, right? Jesus knew them, they, why they are doing this. And it should be happen, right? In order to achieve the salvation. That's why no problem, no problem. If I don't forgive, you will be the one who fall apart, right? Always vengeance here, vengeance, right? If I, if I have perfect time, and enough time, enough chance, I will revenge you. You know, this is not a way of Jesus, right? But matter is, it's really hard to, uh, willing to forgive someone because if I forgive him, I will be the miserable one, right? It means if I forgive him, I feel like a loser. And he's right, I'm wrong. It doesn't mean like that. Understand? Why should we forgive him? Because of you have rights to keep your eternal peace in your heart. You deserve it, right? Why you break it? It doesn't mean he's right and I'm wrong. We have this kind of conception. We used to carry this one, right? That's why it's really hard to forgive him. Right? But let's imagine this picture in your heart. Daughter and kids, you know, toddler, toddler. They used to come uh, against mother. Hey, mother, I don't want to go to school. Oh, not school, what is that? I don't want to, this meal, right? The mother uh, pushed him to eat this for his good, right? And then he crying. And then a couple of times later, the toddler is saying, I hate you, right? I hate you. The mother said, Okay, that was my mistake. Come and then embrace him in his bosom, right? In her bosom, right? Why mother has a willing to say, okay, you are right, I'm wrong. Why? Mother knew it, right? Knew this. Toddler, usually, they don't eat well. Especially green colors, like vegetable, they are really sensitive, right? <laughs> It's really hard to feed them. But mother used to say, okay, okay, come. Why? Mother has the mind to give this war, right? That's why, keep, keeping peace. Mother says, it's okay, my mistake, my bad, come. 
right? You know, and then build up the good relationship together, right? Uh, that's the forgiveness, right? If I forgive him, this is not an admission. He's right and I'm wrong. It, it's not like that. Understand? I can forgive him because I have right to keep my eternal peace in my heart, right? Because of that reason, we have to forgive, right? That's why, easy. Forgiving is easy, right? So, <clears throat> the Bible said, forgiveness needs to be done for yourself, for yourself, for your own good, right? Let's see, Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19, verse 11. <clears throat> verse 11. Let's read together. The discretion of man makes him slow to anger, and his glory is to overlook a transgression. His glory. You know, for your own glory, you have to forgive someone else. Understood? For your own glory. Right? So, the Bible said, forgiveness needs to be done for your self, right? Not for him, not for her. Forgiveness needs to be provided for your own sake. Understood? So, um, sometimes my, my condition in my mind is so narrow and so tight, and then uh, stuck in some situation, it's really hard to get this mindset in my heart, right? Every one of us, we experience this one. Under this situation, there is one, uh, one uh, weight given, way was given to us. You, can, you don't have any mind and you cannot feel any, you cannot have any mind to forgive him. It's really hard. Now, now, you can say that, right? In this moment, you can do it continuously. How? Do it with the name of Jesus Christ. Understood? Whenever I take the elevator, I cannot forgive him. Right? Whenever I see him and encounter him every morning, I cannot forgive him. But one day, I made my, uh, my mind. I cannot forgive him by myself, but I can forgive you in the name of Jesus Christ. Right? Jesus died for him as well. Right? That's why use the name, not abuse the name, okay? Use the name of Jesus Christ. Understood? And then you can do it. And then God, He accepts this situation. And that this is the way to please Him. Why? His name was used. Right? Sometimes at the, at the, at, at, at the company, in order to buy a huge volume of some machines or something, you have to make a, what is that? Proposal, set, right? And then finally, you have to get the signature of boss, right? That paper is effective because of the signature of boss, right? Something not, I cannot understand that all the contents of my, of my paper, right? Accusation paper. I cannot forgive him. But finally, if you made a decision, forgive him. And then toss to Jesus Christ. Okay? Don't try to put your name here. Right? You cannot take it. But if he toss to this paper to Jesus Christ, Jesus, he is going to, will, he is willing to sign it. Understood? And then provide this paper to him. Hey, hey, this is for you, not for me. Right? If you use the name of Jesus Christ, any other circumstance in the middle of that, you can forgive him. Right? Try it. Use it. Between husband and wife between colleagues, and between families, be between parents and sons, right? Yes, we can use it. If we do that, yes, we have a willing mind to guide them, to evangelize them, right? They really hate me. And then, forgive them, okay? 
if you forgive them, and then you are willing to go them together again and again. Right? This is uh, very important. That's why the strength of Christian life is coming from the forgiveness. We are not good enough. All of us need to be forgiven. We are flood already, right? Lots of weakness we have. With this, under this condition, how could we get this kind of divine power and strength? Only by the, only by the support of our Lord. The support was given here in the Bible. As much as you understand God, who he, who, who he is, and then you can equip more divine understanding, and then you can use it on this planet. So, we don't have enough goodness which make us forgive someone without any condition. We don't have, right? That's why we have to go. And then we have to hold tight the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who forgive, who who has given all forgiveness for entire human being. This is very important, right? So Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive man their, their trespasses, neither will your father, right? If you have some troubles, if you need some forgiveness by God, try it to forgive somebody else, right? And then you, you deserve this, right? So... Um, there are some articles uh, through the internet. Uh, I, I, when I uh, read this article, so this is really, I have to say amen. This is not a biblical inst uh, instruction, but I, I, that is really touched. That's why I, I, I introduced these things here. The true forgiveness has a three condition. The first one, don't say what you have forgiven once. Don't say anymore. If you forgive someone's mistake, right? Don't say it again. That's a true forgiveness, right? And also, don't tell and leak any clue to anyone else, right? Yeah, long time ago, I forgave him like that, right? Do you know he made a horrible mistake but to me, but I forgave him. Don't leak anyone, anything, right? This is true forgiveness. And third one, don't think over and over. Understand? So, um, we, we should have hope. Uh, we should have for our brothers and sisters. Don't expect anything else. If you expect something, he or her always make me down. Understand? Don't expect something, right? But, but you have to take a hope. You will get better. You will have someday a better version of yourself. This is a hope for him, for their sake. If you expect something, this is for my own sake, right? Don't do that. That's why most, our, most of our disappointment coming from this expectation, right? Just have hope. You will be good. You will be better. Someday you will get have a more better, better version of you. You know, this is the mindset of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you agree with this? Right? That's why this is my personal experience. <clears throat> I, will, I will show these two things. The first one. Let it be. Understand? And second one, let it go. Understand? Every one of us, we have a default situation, default condition. What is my default? I'm a Korean. 
you're Philippine, right? And South African, whoever you are. That was the birth as given by God, right? Let it be. Your personality, your intention and your, your what is it, desire always coming out from you, let it be, right? And then somebody come against me, right? That's not your fault, right? Let it go. Understand? Let it go. You cannot control everything. Understand? You are not capable of that. Don't try to change anybody else. Let it be. Right? This is the part of God's work. Right? And if anybody else come against me, no problem. That's not your fault. Right? Let it go. And then focus and magnify God in the Bible. Okay? If you go that way, God provides eternal peace over and over again and again to you. Would you do that? No? All right. I have, I have hope for you. All of you will get better someday. All right? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, uh, we give thanks to you. You saved us from the eternal punishment. And now you are able to hear, to be here as a son of God. Please, God, guide us with your mercy and guidance continuously. And then let us be strong with your words. Still, we are in the middle of the summer retreat. And so many people attended there. Please, let us have, uh, let them have the mercy of God. And then, please let us have some chance to glorify you. Everything is on your hand. We only rely on you. We ask in Jesus' name, who loves us always. Amen. All right, thank you for listening.